welcome back everybody and i hope you enjoyed the new intro so right now as you can see we do have a text field here and if you just run this app right now without adding anything so i'm going to show you right now if we run this and move back and we try and get the keyboard up right now and if you try to dismiss it so if you try to tap anywhere else or even press on return there is no way you can actually dismiss the keyboard so right now we're going to add the code that will allow us to do just that and i'm just doing the easiest way i'm not really doing anything fancy so the first thing you need to do is click on this and click on this button right here to open your project file and what you need to do is you actually need to drag and drop that text field over here i'm just going to call it text field one and now in order to actually dismiss it the first thing we need to do is come over here we need to type in UI text field delegate just like that and after that we need to come to view did load and go to line 17 for me and all I'm going to say is I'll say self dot text field one dot sorry dot delegate is equal to self and after that we only have two more functions to add so the first one is func text field did uh, sorry uh, let's okay, there we go text field should return and we are going to say return text field one dot dot resign first responder and what this function does is it basically allows you to when you have the keyboard up if you press any part of the page so not necessarily a key or a button dismiss the keyboard and after that we want it so that if they click on return it actually dismisses it sorry that was the opposite so this function is responsible for when a user clicks on return the keyboard is dismissed and now we're going to do the one where if you click anywhere on the screen the keyboard is dismissed so i'm going to say override func touches begun and inside of here instead of code i'm going to say self dot view dot end editing and i'm going to say true let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so i'm going to run it and i'm going to call out the keyboard i'm going to use it i'm going to click on any part of the screen and as you can see it gets dismissed let's see if it will work with the return button and as you can see if I click on the return button, it does get dismissed. And actually, I want to mention something else that you can use this with any button to dismiss the keyboard as well. It doesn't have to be just inside this function. Thank you for watching and please remember to go ahead and subscribe to me. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't like the video. And also make sure you get in contact with me if you need me in anything. If you have any questions or if you'd like to hire me as your app developer, please feel more than free to just message me and email me with the link uh, with the email written in the description. Thank you.